isn't it crazy what life does to us? It was years after graduation when my mom told me that it was because she spoke to our MLA that I got into optometry school. Really? As a strong and independent woman, I believed her. I let her put another crack in my core. I can handle it all. Our home, our business, and the boards I served. I got this. And I had ego to spare. To the outside world, it looked like I had it all. But when I wiped the fog from the mirror, all I saw was a little girl, cracked. I had a nanny playing with my children, a new business partner who wouldn't talk to me, and a board filled with members who betrayed me. Home wasn't happy, work wasn't happy, I wasn't happy. Something had to give, so we sold the business, and I still wasn't happy. I had let fear lead me down a dark forest path to a place of regret and resentment, and it gnawed away at me, bit by bit, until I became sick. Stage four, weeks to live sick. Why do all these things keep happening to me? When we seek answers as victims, we fail to honor hope. So when the priest stood by my hospital bed and asked if I wanted to receive the sacrament of the sick, you know, last rites, I knew I had to find enough courage to seek a way out of that dark forest. That was two and a half years ago. Two and a half years of the gift of life happening for me. What if we can change our perspective, change our beliefs? What if we can wrap our heads, our old ways of thinking about the events in our lives as happening for us and not just to us? It's taken me most of those two and a half years to shift my perspective, to learn to forgive myself, to change what I believe to be true, those stories that little girl believed to be true. When we shift from life happening to us to life happening for us, we can start to heal. And when we start to heal, we can start to dream again. <laughs>